Hello. How are you getting on with your long and short stitch as soft shading? Well, I really enjoyed stitching this last night um, and I'm just getting to the last feather that's going to be in the long short soft shading. If I just show you here, um, I've done the first colour um, and I'm just going to finish off this first colour um, here on this last feather. Um, if you want to join me while I do that. Um, and then I'll be changing my needle uh, to the uh, gold needle to do single thread for the second colour. So we'll, we'll have a look at that. So is that thing, I, can't, I always get, forget which hand I'm using, which on top and which on the bottom. Does anybody else have that problem? <laughs> I can't remember whether I'm left-handed or right-handed when I'm doing this sometimes. Oh, this massive gap there. How did I miss that gap there? Right, so I'll start going the other way now. Let's see if I can do cover the blue. <laughs> Make sure you cover the blue lines. And so it's long short three quarters, as Philippa says. Oh. And then a long stitch. It's amazing how it covers the, um, the little starting seeding stitches we use. And then a short one. It was interesting because I, I must admit I was watching television doing this last night and you just get engrossed in it. It's fascinating how you can get so engrossed in something. I'll just have to cast off here and thread some more thread. To finish this little feather here. So I'll be back in a second. I've just noticed how I'm sort of like deviating away from what the lines are that are on the, the linen. So what I'm going to do is just be really careful that I do follow where the lines are going and maybe lay the thread down might help. because what I don't want to do is make it all go the wrong direction. So I'm just going to use those lines to really make sure that I go in the right direction. Oh dear. That long one or it? all looks so easy when Philip is doing it. <laughs> and it is that thing. She's been really busy um, getting all the kits ready um, to go out for the Aesop's Fables. But what she is also doing is she's planning to do an online course with a different design to help all people like you and I who are new to cruel work. Um, and so it would, I'm really looking forward to doing that course with her online because things here, we, we're not able to actually meet up and do any stitching together so she's not able to be able to teach me in person just like everyone else so um, I'm really looking forward to doing that online course with her and so if you want to know when that's going because we haven't got a date yet for that but to be able to find out when it's on and sign up if you go to the website uh, www.cruelwork.com um, you'll be able to sign up if you go to the bottom of the the page you'll see subscribe to our newsletter and if you go there you will be able to sign up to the newsletter and you will be one of the first people to know when this course is going to be run so I'm really looking forward to it because it's one thing teaching yourself and it's possible to do it but another thing to have somebody like Philippa with all her experience in cruel work over many years teaching you online in the comfort and safety of your own home. So um, yes, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know what she'll say when she sees how I'm doing with this. I don't think it looks anything like what she was doing, but it's practice. And that's the great thing about this design is that we can we'll be doing these feathers in the other part of the linen. So we will get used to we will uh, we'll get used to these different techniques. It'd be quite funny to see how the last group of feathers looks compared to what um, 
these first ones because it is that tentative sort of like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing it right. But we'll get there in the end. And I think that's it for that one. So I'm just going to cast off now and get my silver gold thread needle out to do the second of three colours that's going to be on these uh, these feathers here. So it's that. I'm just checking the um, the stitch chart to see what colours for the first this first um, soft shading I'm doing the next colour in, and there's three colours in this, so. It's the first colour which we've done, which is this one, is the 711. That's in double thread. And then we move on to the 7, oh, let's have a look, 713, which is this beautiful colour. And that's going to be in single thread. So I've got here my needles that are in this lovely little pack. And I've got my gold needle ready to thread that, that one up. And after we've done that, we will then move on to this final colour, which is 714. So when you put them together, they look absolutely gorgeous, don't they? You can see those lovely colours together. Um, and so what I'm going to do is do that, do the next stitch tonight and come back and share that with you. And then we'll do the final stitch. Um, and then we'll be ready to move on to the final new stitch that we'll be doing, which will be the French knot. So happy stitching tonight and I'll see you later when we do the final, final colour on the three colours. Mm -hmm.